hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's clarice here if you never know now you know guys go ahead like and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to click that notification bell whenever time i upload you guys are the first to be notified and guys as you can tell by the title of my video it's going to be a summer glam look oh, guys it's summertime now so guys so sit back relax and let's just have fun with makeup I went ahead guys and I did my brows off camera. For concealer, I'll be using my tote by Black Opal Total Coverage to do the bottom half of my lid. And I'm using that little small brush there, that little blending brush there from Real Techniques. Going in now guys into my palette. This is my seven cool professional makeup gorgeous eyeshadow palette and guys it's a drugstore product taking up now that dark shadow dear guys and i'm using my ashley f20 blending brush and i'm going to use that color now for my transition color and i'm going to blend it out as much as possible <music> into the palette and I'll be picking up that dark shadow there and I'm using a smaller blending brush that blending brush is from LA girl and guys you want to just be careful when using black shadow I'm just concentrating on the outer portion of my eyes there guys and I'm just going to blend it over into the crease I'm not going to go all the way over Just ensure that the black shadow guys for this look is well blended going back now into the palette now guys and I'm going to pick up this shadow it's a green shimmery shadow guys it's not giving me the color payoff on camera here guys but it's actually a green shadow then I'll go back in now guys with that small little brush here with a little black I didn't pick up any extra black and I'm just going to blend out the outer portion there taking up now that same green shadow there I'm going to put it under my brow bone just to highlight it with my black radiance um true complexion liquid eyeliner and i'm just going to draw a line as close as possible to my lash line i'm not going to do a wing <laughs> my falsy i'll be using my duo lash glue and i'm going to apply the glue as close as possible again to my lash line And for mascara, I'll be using the Maybelline Great Lash from New York. And for falsy, I'll be using the Black Pearl Cosmetic um, Falsies. And um, this one is in Foxy. Yes, guys, this is Foxy. 
and it's going to pop on those lashes guys <laughs> Going in now with my pan cold cream makeup remover and moisturizer. I was going to use it to clean my face, and as it, as it states, guys, it's also a moisturizer. And I'm using my baby wipes here just to do the cleaning up. And for primer, I'll be using the Glam Clean Professional Primer. And I'm going to use a little bit, guys. A little bit goes a far way. I'm going to apply it in my T-zone where, where I have the most pore. And you don't want to, to be dragging. You want to be as gentle as possible, guys. <music> For foundation guys i'll be using my la my la girl um foundation and i'm going to mix these two shadows together one is cocoa and one is tan and it's going to mix those two foundation there together to get my shade guys i could go in with just the tan but i just decided just to tone it down a little bit and I, so i go ahead and i use the cocoa what i did i mix it on the back of my hand guys and then I'm going to apply it with this little concealer brush. Guys, I don't know if you noticed that I did not clean up above my brow. Now's the time, guys. I'm going to clean up above my brow. And I'm going to use the foundation there. Yes, guys. That's what I started to do from off lately. Just to use the foundation to clean up above my brow, guys. Guys, you may want to try, guys. It's a super cool trick to do. Less blended for you, guys. Less blended. What I'm doing there, guys, I think I took off a little bit of my brow. So I'm just drawing back the edge of my brow there. And it's going to go again, guys. And it's going to clean up over the brow with the foundation. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in now with that little blending brush. Also from Real Techniques, I'm going to do a further blending, guys. And I am pushing the product in my skin. Guys, look at that match. That, look at that match. These LA Girl products are so good. I use this rich cocoa on a young lady. I did not get to video it i use this rich cocoa on a young lady guys and it, trust me the foundation just melted into the young lady's skin guys you may want to try these uh, la girl uh, foundation that they are super cool guys guys la girl to the world so guys i'm just blending out some i'm just doing some more blending guys with that little brush there look at that guys everything's just Ugh, everything just melt into my skin and i i have to go in guys with my beauty blender and I'm using a damp beauty blender and I use my setting um, spray from Clean Color to damp my beauty blender. You want to use a damp beauty blender, not a wet beauty blender nor a dry beauty blender. So I'm using my damp beauty blender from Real Techniques to do a further blending. Also guys, I'm using tapping motion. Yeah. 
For concealer, I'll be using the LA Girl in the shade Porcelain. I'm going to apply it under my under eye there, the bridge on my nose and under on my forehead. <music> Also, I'll be applying some on my smile line there and on under my cheeks. <music> Using that little blending brush from Real Techniques, it's so super cool to do the blending, guys. And I'm using tapping motion just to blend up the concealer. And I start on the bottom half. I allow the concealer under my under eyes here just to sit and get just a little bit tacky. When it's, it's a little bit tacky, guys, you get a better coverage. And I'm using tapping motion. <laughs> Again, with my damp beauty from Real Techniques, just to ensure that the concealer is well blended. You don't want it to crack, guys. So you want to ensure that there's no lump or anything like that. You also want to make sure that the concealer is well blended out. <music> For contour, I'll be using my clean color shimmer bronzer to do the contour. And I'm going to use my little fluffy brush here, guys. All the guys, this brush here, guys, it's a drugstore product. It has no name, but it's so good. It's, it's super cool to use to do just about anything. Starting from my forehead, guys. I'm just going to contour out my face. Contour is basically, guys, just bringing back structure to your face. Going along my cheekbone there, guys, under my cheeks there, guys, just to bring back dimension to your face. Because when you put on the foundation and all of that, guys, you need to go in with your concealer and your, and your contour product just to bring back dimension, in my opinion, to bring back dimension and structure to your face. You don't want your face to be flat and one shade going in now guys with my black radiance loose setting powder and i'm going to set my concealer and i'm using my, my wet my damp beauty blender sorry guys i'm using my damp beauty blender again from real techniques and guys you want to ensure that you dust off the excess powder <music> What I like to do, guys, I use, like to take the powder and draw this little line under my contour to lift the contour a little bit more. Try it out, guys. It works. Just to lift the contour a little bit more. To contour my nose, I'll be using a smaller blending brush. And this blending brush is from LA Girl. And I'm also using my clean color shimmer bronzer to contour my nose. And again, I'm you doing reverse contour. What I did, I just take a little of that beauty wedge with the setting powder and I draw a line again under the the contour dusting away all the powder now guys with that little fluffy brush guys i have this fluffy brush from centuries now so what i'm doing i'm just dusting away the excess powder because i'm, I'm not baking guys going in now guys with my 
fit me press powder in the shade 334 and I'm going to use that powder to set my complete face just to tie the look and to bring in the look and bring everything together guys <laughs> Just fixing my brow there, guys. Just soften it a little bit. And after all of that powder, guys, you always, always, always want to go in with a setting spray. And the setting spray, again, is from Clean Color. And I'm using a generous amount. Going in back into my gorgeous palette, I'm going to pick up that shadow there. And I'm going to apply, I'm going to use it, guys, to apply my lip liner. Yes, guys, I'm using my shadow there to do that. <music> Using now my Ashley color matted matted finish lip cover. I'm just going to use that guys now to just to do my lips. Going back now guys into my seven color professional makeup gorgeous eyeshadow palette and I'm picking up that shadow there guys it has no name but it's going to line the bottom half of my eyes. I really love how this look turned out guys and trust me it was effortless effortless guys. Using now my mid color highlight in the eight color highlight palette, and I'm using the the shadow here is Hustle Hustler Baby, guys. I super super like this highlight here, guys, and I'm using this fluffy brush, and I'm going to put it, guys, at the eye points of my face, right there, guys, on my cheekbone, on the bridge of my nose, and guys, you know your girl just love to do her forehead. I love when my forehead is glowing. <laughs> Going in again now, guys, and I am spraying down that face. And this is a finished look, guys. Quick, simple, easy summer look for you, guys. Guys, let's go ahead. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell whenever time I upload. You guys are the first to be notified. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like it. Mwah!